Health News on the Hour, sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Investigators are looking into another deadly shooting today, this time at a school in Iowa. CBS's Matt Piper has the latest. The incident happened at a school in Des Moines dedicated to helping at-risk youth. Two students were shot and killed, and a teacher was seriously injured. You know, these are supposed to be our safe spaces. Des Moines PD Sergeant Paul Parazak. The incident was definitely targeted. It was not random. There's there's nothing random about this. It was certainly a targeted incident. But as far as, again, motive, that's something that we are going to try and figure out. But oftentimes, we're kind of all left wondering. Police have three suspects in custody. Matt Piper, CBS News. Eleven people have now died following the massacre in Monterey Park, California. CBS's Steve Fetterman is there. Authorities here in Monterey Park continue to look for a motive. Police Chief Scott Weiss. The why is a big part of it. The problem is, we may never know the why. The gunman, 72-year-old Hu Cam Tran, was a one-time regular at the dance studio where the killings occurred. But that was many years ago. State and federal investigators are now looking into whether police in Memphis used excessive force when they stopped a black driver earlier this month. The public hasn't seen it, but attorney Anthony Romanucci says that Tyree Nichols' family watched police camp footage today. He was a human pinata for those police officers. It was an unadulterated, unabashed, non-stop beating of this young boy for three minutes. Nichols was 29. Bail has been denied for Solomon Pena in New Mexico. The failed Republican candidates accused of hiring gunmen to attack the homes of Democratic elected officials there. Prosecutors argued Pena would be a danger if released. The White House is dodging more questions amid a fifth finding of classified documents in President Biden's possession. A spokesman for the White House Counsel's Office spent 35 minutes on a call with reporters. We're just not going to comment on that. They declined to answer key questions. And Sam cited the ongoing criminal probe. You know, we don't want to um, be saying too much about the underlying investigation. Fans wouldn't even say who's paying the president's personal attorneys. On that, I'm going to have to refer you to my... But he did say if the president's decision to offer the FBI a chance to search his Wilmington home... It reveals how seriously the president is taking this issue and how actively he is cooperating with the ongoing investigation. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. Two major winter storms are set to slam millions of Americans this week. The first could dump more than a foot of snow on New England. The others a little more widespread with snow and freezing rain expected to hit from North Texas to Michigan. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.